Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. For the next few hours, we're going to be bringing you some Cracker Jack films with one of the most enduring and best-liked actors we have in our midst, Michael Caine. More correctly, Sir Michael Caine, since the year 2000. He started his acting career in the mid-50s in his native England, appearing in tiny roles in various movies and TV shows until the star really started to rise in the mid-1960s. Well, our first Michael Caine film is a caper comedy called Gambit, released by Universal in 1966. And it was the very first movie Michael ever made in Hollywood. The person responsible for that was his co-star in the movie, Shirley MacLaine. Now, Shirley at the time was already such a big, big star, she could and did have contract approval of who to be her co-star. Well, she'd recently seen Michael Caine in what was his breakthrough movie, The British Made, The Ipocris File, which had come out the year before, and she was impressed. She especially liked, as she said, the dry sardonic wit that Michael displayed in the movie. And according to Michael's memoirs, he was so thrilled at the idea of being asked to make a Hollywood movie and co-star with Shirley MacLaine in it, he signed on without even reading the entire script. Well, it turned out to be a win-win situation for all. The story is fun, the cast is delightful, and it's a thoroughly entertaining caper film. It's the story of a British cat burglar and a Eurasian dancer involved in a very intricately planned art heist, one that goes way off track when it actually goes into action. So here also with Herbert Lom, who just two years before had played for the first time what would be a defining role for him, that of the constantly exasperated Inspector Dreyfus in the Pink Panther series. So here from 1966, directed by Ronald Neem, Gambit. <laughs> 